There is something about springtime that makes us feel energized and ready to tackle new projects. Well, Tim Hemingway with Daily Bread says spring is the perfect time to reevaluate your food storage. And there are so many food storage options out there, but you say you really have to look at your family's needs. Yeah, definitely. And we'd like to just take a look at that today and talk about the different options that are out there, you know, and how to make an educated decision for your family so you really know what you're getting, what you're purchasing. One thing you say is so important to consider is the price per serving. Talk to me about that. Okay, that's absolutely important because every company out there is going to have a price per serving but you need to sit down and look at what's actually included in the serving is that an entree is that entrees plus drinks plus sides plus sauces I mean you may have a really low price per serving but you need to compare apples to apples entrees to entrees drinks to drinks sides to sides so you really get you know a fair comparison and we know the killer entrees you have at Daily Bread I mean you wowed us with a variety well, yeah we, we have a whole variety variety is a big thing um, you've got to look at foods that your family wants to eat and you want to have a variety you don't want to go buy a long-term food storage package and have you know 10 different soup options and nothing else and another thing that goes with that with the variety is you want to look at your calories okay there's a lot of people that will advertise say a really high calorie count per day uh -huh. but it will be full of fillers like rice and things like that you don't want that you want to make sure you have a balanced calorie balanced nutrition something that your family can actually live off and be healthy in that moment of crisis you want to make sure people are actually getting full right and Ab the food is doing the job absolutely well talk to me a little bit about the packaging because you say that's something else that people should consider yeah it's it's really interesting there's there's really two different ways you see food storage these days okay you see the number 10 cams mm -hmm. you also see a lot of pouches pouches are generally stored inside of either uh, buckets or boxes. Now with, with the packaging that's going to really help determine your shelf life. Pretty much everything you say is going to see on the market is going to say a 25 year shelf life. Is that accurate? Not always. Okay. With the freeze dried food, which is the highest quality food you can get, it has to be in a number 10 can to get okay. a 25 year shelf life. It's okay. in the pouch, you've got 10 years. With a dehydrated product, a lot of times, once again, that will be stored, whether it's a can or a pouch, we'll say 25 years, that's only under 55 degrees. You need to look at the packaging and see what it is. So um, if you want the true 25 year shelf life, uh -huh. you need the freeze dried in the cans. Where should we be storing our food storage? Um, you know, anywhere in your house, it's gonna be cool and dry. You wanna keep it out of sunlight, because okay. heat's gonna degrade it. You wanna keep it away from moisture, moisture will degrade it, um, and once again, oxygen will. So keep the can sealed until you're ready to use them. We were just talking how Daily Bread has really revolutionized how food storage is done. And for the first time ever, you have a case sale going on right now. Yeah, we do. The case lot sale is something brand new. Our customers have been asking for it, so we're really excited to offer it. Uh, big discounts on, you know, just buying your favorites. Uh -huh. um, and you can find out about that on our website, dailybread.com. Okay, so more information there. Absolutely. We will post a link for our viewers because I know people will be really interested. Again, spring, a great time to kind of reevaluate and reassess where you're at. Thanks so much for yep. stopping in. Thanks teaching us how to shop smart when it comes to food storage. Again, look for that Daily Bread link on our website. And right now we're going out to Darren.